Hey guys, okay, and welcome. Um, right then, uh, I'm on my way to the new compound where I'll now keep my boat for the winter. If you saw the last video, or one of the last videos, before I went to Cyprus shooting with the lads, um, you'll see that I put I took the boat out of the harbour, um, mainly because uh, I would normally let, have left it in a, two or three more weeks, but uh, the harbour master told us that they're going to renovate the harbour side that we're moored on, uh, me, Paul and Ricky. But as yet, they've not started. That's the Greek way of doing things. They tell you to take all the boats out and then don't do anything about it. So uh, anyway, not such a bad idea because uh, we had a load of rain and that last night anyway. So when the weather's starting to turn as well uh, as we've come into uh, middle of autumn. So um, anyway, so you're going to see today, uh, I'm going to flush the engine out with my earmuffs. Uh, you'll see what I mean by that if you're a new boater. And... Um, uh, show you that. I've also put some stabiliser fluid in the engine. There was only a quarter of a tank left, about 40 litres left in the tank. So I've uh, put some stabiliser fluid in it uh, this time. Um, I've also marked the uh, the trailer with some yellow fluorescent paint to uh, uh, ensure that they can identify their trailer should it get stolen which one of my trailers did get stolen and it cost me 950 euros uh, to buy a new one so it's not a cheap deal by any means but anyway thank you for subscribing you new subscribers welcome aboard it's always great to have new subscribers um, you'll probably find out that my life consists of music guitar playing people boating shooting and travel uh, and then all the things in between on the way to the compound now for the boating side of my life all right hope you're enjoying it if you are watching this for the first time don't forget to subscribe uh, click a like or make a comment it's always good to hear from you guys and i'm glad you're enjoying the the videos all right rock and roll and see you in a bit of the compound yes Yes. Rock and roll. And now we're going to meet Linda Luz. I'm picking her up outside a cafe bar and uh, she lives in a different part of, uh, she lives uh, five uh, kilometres away from me and uh, I've asked her to get me a nice cafe latte to start the day. So uh, there we are, there's the sea. Looking a bit rough today. I think it's a four before, four stroke five before today. So uh, anyway, my boat's out on concrete now, so it doesn't really matter. It's all irrelevant, unfortunately. Anyway. Kalimera! Good morning, you alright? Okay. I've got a wet seat I'm afraid. Oh dear, what have you been doing? Uh, I left the window open in the car when it rained last night, so... Uh, oh, it got washed. Not clever. <laughs> but I didn't realise, yes. How are you this morning? <laughs> I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> yes, I'm videoing. It's a good start to the day. Oh, it's a good start to the day. <laughs> right, off the compound we go guys. Rock and roll. To the uh, new compound guys so you'll see the new compound for the first time this is where I winterize the boat and it's a great it's a great place to uh, to keep the boat it's a really it's a new place um, you met Michaelis you saw Michaelis 
those of you who've been watching the videos who the guy that fitted my stainless steel anchor yes well this is his new compound oh it's locked so it means there's the compound it's very nice too so I now need to unlock it here's the new compound oh yes and there's a big grey dog that lives here but he's as soppy as soppy can be and Linda Lou's is over there you won't be able to see her on the camera but Linda Lou's over there is giving him a big cuddle so I've got to lock the, shut the gates just in case uh, he breaks free but he's let loose when the gates are locked normally so Michalis has probably just uh, popped out to attend to a, uh, somebody else's boat I would imagine there we are some beautiful boats in here guys some beautiful boats in here that's that one shut yes and that's that one shot there we go yes he can't get out of there there's my boat over there look yes well guys we've got paul here he's just arrived without any stickers and he's got a, hang a hangover from hell good morning. good morning paul well it's, it's not that good is it no. in your from your point of view no but it could only get better couldn't it yes when that headache gets better how does my hair look your hair looks fine. In fact, I'm thinking of calling you Rod Stewart. <laughs> so, there we go. That's the start of the morning. There we are, guys. Here we are. Right. The state of my bloody car. Right, Miss Fishing Rod. I've took all of them out of the boat, you see. So that's why it's all a bit of a mess. I've got a knife here, buddy. Well, yeah, but what we need also is white spirit. So I think what we'll do is we'll do it after they're done. But... Oh, okay. Look at this this for a guard dog that's a guard dog look hello soldier hello. oh that's a really good guard dog that is isn't it <laughs> oh. there's the old fishing boats look look at this puppy here it's a bit sexy there's mine over there the red one as you probably already know the regular viewers look at this puppy this is the big daddy beautiful Apparently he's um, it would it would uh, sleep six, but uh, the owners uh, done it so uh, or re-kitted it out inside. So he's got a large lounge, a big circular lounge in there. Apparently, so McCarley told me, and uh, so he's converted it, and it'll only actually sleep four now. But he's made a big lounge so that they can all have their dinky donks and champers and wine and look at them puppies there. 520 horsepower there you go yeah there's the old green paint look I'm just going to give it another coat today just to mark the uh, the trailer so it just is a bit of a deterrent more than anything and there's the old stainless steel anchor look what a beauty that is it's beautiful yes so we're going to flush the engine today that's what we're going to do in a minute flush the engine yes okay guys right well the nice thing about it for these all these babies here look hey nice here's the back end of mine um so got all great facilities here we've got all the electric and water um so what i'm going to do Today's little exercise is to flush this engine and get rid of any salt water inside the engine and we use these things all right and I'll show you exactly what we're going to do with this for those of you that don't know in a minute so there we are Linda thinks we're going out to sea but we're not <laughs> what we're going to do take the end of this off oh yes <laughs> all good stuff guys all good stuff so if you're a new boat owner, you're going to need these earmuffs. Got these off eBay, great actually. Put my jubilee clip on, stick that in there, and then, very slowly, 
tighten the old girl up. Yeah, great facilities around here. I'm really pleased with this compound. McCarley's a good guy, as, as you saw in another video when he was fitting my uh, stainless steel anchor, which I'm highly delighted with. And I'm also going to take the ladders off, the steps rather, take them off and I'm taking them home. And I'm going to paint them yellow, this colour. Um, just to give it some freshness for next season. So, what I'm doing here, I'm removing these, uh, these transport brackets to allow me to lower the engine down. Like that. So what I'm going to do now, so these, what's going to happen, once I turn the water on, it's going to go through the vents here. Alright, so we split these cap, these earmuffs on, like that, and down to make sure they're nice and flush over the vents. Got to be nice and flush over the vents. Put them in the ignition, there's the black one, the keys are on the, on the way you left it. Yeah, that's the one, you got it in your hand. No. Oh, that one. <laughs> that one. No. Go on, yeah. Uh, that one. Yo! Hey. That slides into the ignition. Oh, okay. But don't turn it on, just slide it in. It's always fun with Linda Lou's guys, it's always fun with, with the blonde. Yeah, she's looking for the ignition now, she's gone in the cabin. No, no, that's the that's the door love. That's the cabin door. <laughs> Welcome to Linda's world. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna love this people, you're gonna love this. Right. The ignition is just there, darling. <laughs> oh it just gets better. Come here people. Come here. The life of Linda, honestly, honestly, no wonder I lose my rag. Right then, she thought this was the ignition. Bless her, yes. She's lovely though. Right, the ignition, babe, is underneath the handle. Follow the red cord, you know the red cord, the curly cord, follow that all the way up. It's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, she's got it now, she's got it now. Right, whoa, rock and roll. <laughs> right, you can turn it. doing guys it's washing all the salt water out of the engine so circulating the water washing all the salt water out Linda right just, don't don't do uh, just pull it down now pull it down Pulling. Yeah, that's it. Getting rid of all that salt. And this will be warm now. Yeah, it's warm. So, folks, is how you flush an engine. Ready for winterization. Notice the earmuffs there, and they're all in place. Okay, hey, Linda, Linda, turn the key now. That's it, well done. There we are. So that's flush the engine now. So there, so if you've never flushed an engine, that's how you do it. All right. So, uh, happy days, happy days. Now on an uh, Evinrude engine, there is a, um, a program that you can um, 
start that will actually automatically go uh, winterize it for you whereas I shall do that probably next week uh, I just wanted to get rid of all the sea salt in the engine so that's why I've just flushed it um, so that's that job done which I'm pleased about there we go guys that's what you want I think they're about £12 off eBay or 15 but fantastic bits of kit only use them once a year so <laughs> awesome